I'm John Lefteriatis. I'm a cardiac surgeon, and I'm from the Aortic Institute at Yale University. The talk that I just gave had to do with practical aspects of the genetics of thoracic aortic aneurysm. About 18 years ago, we stumbled on the fact that thoracic aneurysms are inherited. I was making rounds on a 59-year-old woman with a type A aortic dissection, and she was recovering well, and I asked her if anyone else in her family had been affected, and she said, of course, doctor, you operated on my own mother five years ago, and I had no recollection, and then I asked her, was there anyone else? And she cried. She couldn't control her tears. And finally, after consoling her, she was able to say, doctor, it was my little girl. She was 12 years old. They told me it was her heart. And it turned out that her little girl had died of the same condition. So there we had three generations in one family. And that put us on um, a mission to understand the patterns of transmission of that disease. We, we were able to identify about um, 15, 18 years ago that if our patient has an aneurysm, there's a very high likelihood that someone else in the family also has an aneurysm. And then a lot of work has been done by Dr. Millowitz in Texas, uh, by our group and by other teams that has now identified the particular mutations or genetic changes that allow aneurysm disease to be passed on from generation to generation. And there are now 12 different mutations that have been identified that can produce thoracic aortic aneurysm. Those uh, explain about one out of five aneurysms. The other four out of five still remain to be elucidated. My talk uh, was about th these practical aspects and I also did indicate that now, through the advent of cost-effective whole genome sequencing, that is, reading every letter of the genetic alphabet, we are now able at the Aortic Institute at Yale to test for all 12 of these conditions uh, with a, a test of your saliva, just a little bit of saliva in a cup. And then eight weeks later, we know your whole genome, and we know um, whether you're affected by any of these 12 mutations. And most insurance companies now cover testing like that, and we are really entering an era of personalized genetic testing in thoracic aortic aneurysm disease. And this will allow us to give a better and more focused treatment to patients and their family members.